Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about tattoos, piercings, clothes, um, you know, etc. Um, with, especially within the Christian church, uh, different camps have different rules in regards to clothing. Um, I, I know I've heard some people say, you know, if a woman wears pants, then she's going to hell, uh, which is quite brutal. Um, you know, the Bible is very specific when talking about piercings, tattoos. Um, the first thing I'll say is that in the New Testament, uh, we, we, the Bible tells us that we are temples and, and the Holy Spirit, um, you know, once we accept Christ, uh, we're born again, we're baptized, um, and we're baptized in the Holy Spirit, you know, you can ask God for His Spirit and His Spirit will come and live within you. The Bible tells us that whoever asks God for His Spirit, you know, God will give His Spirit to you. You have to ask God, you know, you believe in Christ, you've accepted Him, you've been baptized. Um, and, and you can ask God for his Holy Spirit to fill you up with the Holy Spirit and he will fill you up with the Holy Spirit. Um, and so your body is a living temple. You are a living temple that the Holy Spirit dwells within. And you have to understand that how are you going to decorate uh, your temple? A lot of people use all types of piercings and tattoos. Now, the thing, the problem with tattoos is that different Christians have different perspective on this. But what I'll tell you is that the Bible tells us that you know, we are not of this world. Tattoos are of this world. Piercings of all uh, are of this world. They're trends of this world to, you know, you want to look cool. You want to look, you want to be in fashion. But again, how do you want to um, present your temple to God? We all have to stand in front of God one day. Um, and the thing I'll say about tattoos and piercings is that um, your, your temple, um, when you present to God um, as a place for the Holy Spirit to live, um, you know, he dwells within you. Um, he is with you. And so, you know, you want to, to be modest. The Bible calls for modesty and righteousness and uprightness. Um, and so the, the more things of the world that you take and, 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 you know, attach to your body, uh, you know, the, you're not presenting it, you're not preserving it as a holy temple for the Holy Spirit. Um, you know, tattoos and piercings, um, a lot of times people go, you know, over the top with them. A lot of times people um, do all types of crazy things with them. When the Bible tells us to keep it simple, the Bible tells us to be modest, you know, with the clothing that you choose. What, what the Bible wants you to understand, and it, it's very specific, it doesn't go into specific articles of clothing. I mean, some preachers will go into pants. I mean, I, I you know, I've seen several sermons where the preacher will go on two hours on pants. Um, which it's just, it's just crazy. I mean, there's some preachers that are pre prepared to throw people into hell because of pants. What the Bible tells us is that we are to be modest. We are to be simple and we are supposed to see our bodies, um, as, as temples. And so how do you want to decorate your temple for a place where God is going to dwell? Are you going to, you know, you know, have your whole body in tattoos, have your whole body in piercings? Um, dress, you know, with with your with everything hanging out. Um, it's it's not holy. It's not uh, upright. And the thing is, like the Bible calls us to be upright and to move and walk and to and, and to exist within godliness and within God's glory. And so we have to treat our body. This is why the Bible talks so much about what we eat, what we wear, what we dress in our in the, in the status the, the status of our minds. Is because our entire body, our entire being is a temple for the Holy Spirit. And so if you look at yourself as a temple, you know, like, especially like, for example, a church, there's a way I wouldn't decorate my church. There's a way I wouldn't decorate uh, my house if I knew God was coming over. Um, so in the same way, you know, if the Holy Spirit, if I'm asking God for his Holy Spirit, I'm asking God for his presence. I want to prepare a temple for him uh, that is holy, that is pure. Um, that that is good because if, when you keep taking things of this world the fashions of the world the clothing of the world uh, the things of this world um, and you're attaching them to yourself you're, you're 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 tattooing your entire body you're tattooing your face your arms your legs and, and, you, and it seems cool it looks cool but at the end of the day um, are you are you living as a temple are you presenting are you offering God your life your body your being as a temple um, now, some Christians don't agree with me. Some Christians think tattoos are okay. Um, my thing, what I'll say about tattoos, I think tattoos do not 
honor God. I think piercings and looking crazy and dressing like the world does not honor God. You know, as a temple is a sacred place, a temple is a holy place, a temple is a place for God to dwell. Um, God does not dwell in temples made with human hands. He dwells within us. He fills us with his Holy Spirit. So you might, you know, put on a tattoo. It looks good. Your friends are happy. You know, people around you, around you just say, well, this looks good. But I'll tell you the truth that as a temple, as a place for the Holy Spirit to dwell, um, are, are you honoring him? Are you honoring him? Uh, because the Holy Spirit, he, you know, he wishes to dwell within us. You know, God wants to dwell within us. We are temples. Uh, but it, it really matters how you treat your body. It really matters. Uh, you know, this is why gluttony is a sin. Uh, this is why, you know, um, you know, what you think about your mind, it, the status of your mind, the status of your being, the things that you put on your body, um, because these are holy temples to God. And, you know, you can desecrate a temple. You can ruin the temple. Uh, the Bible tells us that we are fearfully, from, from the day that we were conceived, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Um, and yet a lot of people seek to destroy their temples and seek to uh, desecrate them just because, I mean, it looks it looks good now, but you wait a couple of years, it won't look good anymore. Um, because there, there's some people that go overboard. Uh, there's some people uh, that just won't keep it simple. Uh, the Bible tells us to be modest. It tells us to keep, keep it simple. It tells us to not ar ar adorn ourselves with all the things of this world, but to focus on the things of God. So that's what I have to say. I'll, I'll say, you know, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling and, and think about, you know, how would you present a temple to God? Uh, would you present it filled with all the markings and all the piercings of the world and all the things of the world and the clothing of the world? Or would you present God a holy, simple, purified, uh, well-kept, um, healthy temple um, for his Holy Spirit to dwell? Because that, that's what God is pointing at here, is that your body, your being, your mind, your soul, um, well, you, have to, you offer it up to him um, so that he can fill it up with his presence um, and, and not the world um, and, and its uh, demonic uh, will for you. So you have to you have to really understand that. So that's what I have to say about uh, tattoos, piercings, uh, um, clothes that's not modest. Uh, because if we go on a debate on every single um, 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 item or every single thing that people do, uh, we'll never reach a consensus. Uh, but when it comes to piercings, when it comes to tattoos, when it comes to things like this, when it comes to what you should wear, um, I'll say. Think about yourself as a temple, a temple for the Holy Spirit to live in and, and work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Uh, because going on an, an endless um, tirade on this clothes, this is a good to wear, this is not good to wear. It doesn't help anybody. It doesn't not stop you from your sensual desires. It does not stop you. Uh, it does not stop the carnal man. Um, the carnal man does not uh, care about that. The carnal man only just wants what it wants. Um, and so we have to focus on the things of, of God, focus on the spirit um, so that could, so that God can lead us. Uh, because the more that we, we try to adjust the things of this world to make it look biblical, biblical um, to make it look, um, you know, OK with God, um, it's, it's not getting us closer with God. It's just we're just resembling the world more and more. Um, so that's what I had to say about this topic. Uh, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, or comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.